What's going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are back with another episode of Pokemon Diamond, Amy's fourth journey through the world of Pokemon. Last time, we made our way here to a rest house on our way to Eterna Forest, which uh, this gentleman was happy to tell us uh, he does not believe we're going to be able to get through. Oh. But also... We have been leveling up our newest... What a douchebag. Yeah, I know. We've been leveling up our newest team member, Shellos. Yeah. Uh, and maybe looking for some new Pokemon, hopefully, but we'll see. Um, once we get into the forest, that'll give us even a better indication. We already beat this lady. Those are ledges, so I guess we gotta go up this way. Nothing on this rock. And this says, Route 205, north to Eterna Forest. We can also go this way, apparently. Ah, there's cut trees. Too bad we can't do that. All right, and this guy, th and, th and, and this guy. Many poison type Pokemon make the Eterna Forest their home, but I didn't buy any antidotes. What should I do? Do I press on or do I go back? Well, if you know you're gonna need them, then go to the store. It's not that far. He's, he's basically just trying to tell you because we have one antidote and we have- Two berries, I think. Yeah. The Petchas. So, if you think three is enough, you ready? I didn't say I thought three was enough. Okay, do you want to go back to the mart and buy more? Yeah. Oh, okay. We can go this way. We haven't gone this way. <gasps> it's a super potion. Nice. Very cool. All right. Yeah, we haven't gone shopping at all so far. Yeah, I mean, we did originally when we bought the Pokeballs and potions, but oh, yes. Yeah, but that was that. like the first thing we did. Correct. Absolutely correct. So yeah, here is a mart. <clears throat> Let's see what they have for sale. Welcome. What do you need? So they have Pokeballs, Potions, Super Potions, Antidotes, Paralyze Heals, Awakenings, Burn Heals, Ice Heals, Escape Ropes, and Repels. Alright, let's get um, some Antidotes. Okay. So one, as we learned, we have one. But two, it tells you... So how many total or how many more would you like? Mm. Like, I don't know. I don't know how big this forest is. Yeah. Like 10. 10 total? Yeah. Seems like a lot, but, you know, we can sell them back at some point. Yeah. If we want to. We have nine, nine it will cost us 900 of our $12,000. Yeah, so. we're good. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, let's get some potions super potions all right so we'll do supers first we have two currently okay so let's get another 10 of those 10 total 10 10 more more so that's seven thousand of eleven thousand oh that's a lot yeah we need those though yeah and i guess we could buy more later yeah when we have more money yeah so let's get like Six. 4,200? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And you want more potions as well? So we, uh, have, we have five of those. We have five, yeah. So we're probably fine on that. <clears throat> and then do you want more Pokeballs? We have no. 12 currently. Okay. No, we've got a bunch of that shit. Okay. So you're good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at this point we only really need to catch one more Pokemon. Okay. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be other things that we're going to want to catch later, but we have all those fancy-ass fucking Pokeballs, too. <laughs> Good point. Do you like how our, like, ponytail flops around as we run? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that actually happens in real life. Yeah. It's a Shellos. Level nine. So I guess we they did a pretty good job with that. <laughs> We send out hours level 12. You want to just switch to somebody? Yeah. Who? Uh, what did we say? Uh, Badoo? We usually use Badoo. Yeah, yeah, I just know that you are hesitant to do that now that it's yeah, level it's 16. Fine. But, it's okay. fine. Uh, absorb, Mega Drain, Stun Spore, or Growth? Uh, let's do Growth. Mud Slap. Lowers oh, no. two damage, but lowers our accuracy. That's the that's the problem. Yeah, so let's <clears> use <throat> growth and then mega drain. You got it. Special attack rises. Harden. Nice. Its defense rises. Irrelevant. 
Um, and we Mega Drain. It hits. And finishes it Sick. off. Sick. Awesome. Super effective, and we're back to full health. Shellos faints. Our Shellos gains 46. Yeah. Badoo gains 46. And we're off. All right. So we're back to where we just left off. And we'll go into the forest. It's the Eterna Forest. <clears throat> this lady says... Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are? Okay. I'm someone who's coming to a forest. You're someone who's just randomly standing in a forest, so why don't you explain something to me? Okay, <sighs> so your name's Gruel. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Gruel, may I ask a big favor of you? You, you just met me, so no. <sighs> I mean, I'll let you ask, but I'm probably not going to do it. I want to get through this forest, but... I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there'd be safety in numbers. Please, may I go through with you? Gruel decided to go with Cheryl. Nice. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. You will? So now you're going to see a, a new mechanic for this game. She follows us around. Eternal Forest, where time stands still, which is That's very creepy. ominous. This is so creepy. My Pokemon got poisoned, and now it can't battle. I know I should have loaded up on antidotes at the Pokemart. So it's like, hey, remember when that other guy told you you should have antidotes? Well, don't forget to have antidotes. <laughs> anyway, you want to go get this item? Maybe it's an antidote. Maybe. And so now that we've run into a wild Pokemon, it's actually two. Because okay. we're with Cheryl. Mm. And so a Silcoon and a Wurmple appeared. Cheryl sends out Chansey. And we send out our Shellos. Cool. So we're double battling with someone else's Pokemon and ours. Mm. We do not get to choose what her Chansey does. That's her call. Oh. Interesting. Yes. Wow. So, okay. do you want to fight with Shellos against a level 10 and a level 11, or do you want to switch? Uh, hmm. I think I want to switch. Sure. I'm not sure I can depend on her Pokemon to do great things. Fair enough. So, uh, Badoo, Shinx, Krikatoon, Piplup, Machop. Well, we no longer have any Pokemon that are super effective against Bug. Correct. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Love learning that shit. <sighs> it's really frustrating. And don't forget, I know you don't like uh, Wurmple and, and Silcoon, so I'm not saying it for this, but don't forget, we can um, catch stuff that we... Like, these are wild Pokemon, so if we come across Pokemon that are better than a Silcoon and a Wurmple, we can try to catch something new in this forest as well. But. All right, let's use Piplup. You got it. So we take out Shellos, put in Piplup, Chansey used Egg Bomb, which did that much. Wurmple used Poison Sting on us. So what, Chansey just throws an egg at it? And it explodes. Wow. Silcoon used Harden, because it's a Silcoon. <laughs> and it's Defense Rose. Okay. Uh, pound, Stealth Rock, Hidden Power, Bug, or Bubble? Bubble. On, it will hit both of them. Oh, nice. Right? So we use Bubble, it hits them both, does that much to Wurmple, and that much to Silcoon. Okay. Chansey used Egg Bomb again, also on the Silcoon. Okay. Wurmple used String Shot and slowed both of us down, it looks like. Yes. 
So our speed falls, Chansey's speed falls. Still couldn't use Harden again. What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and its defense goes up. More bubble? Yes. You got it. Ooh, crit Whoa. on Wurmple. Nice, Piplup. And then finished off the Silcoon. Sick. Silcoon fainted. Shellos gained 51. Piplup gained 51. Chansey used Egg Bomb, and it missed. Wurmple used String Shot, and slowed us both down again. So, as you can see, interestingly, there are certain attacks that will hit both competitors in a double battle, and others that, like Chansey's Egg Bomb, just our traditional one-to-one -one one. hit, which is cool. And it's fun to like find out which one's which. The fact that Bubble yeah. just happens to hit both, that's awesome. So Bubble finishes off the Wurmple. It faints, Shellos gains 42, Piplup gains 42. Now, she said, well, first of all, let's get this item. It's an antidote, you were absolutely right. What a surprise. Mm -hmm. Can we talk to her? It's startling to see two wild Pokemon appear at the same time. And so sure enough. They do again. Yes. And it's a Badoo and a Silcoon. So she sends out her Chansey. We send out our Shellos. So you want to switch Shellos out again? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we don't have to. But we were using Arbidu against the Shellos, so. What are you thinking? Thinking. Thinking I wish I had an ice type attack. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, well, I could use ground. But no. Because nope. that's... No, that doesn't help at all, actually. Oh, no, because I'm looking at... Okay, I see. Looking at this the wrong way. Um... Yeah, so you'd need... Yeah, like, rock would be great. Yeah. Because... That's neutral against poison for Badoo. Um, super effective against bug and neutral against grass for Badoo. Correct, but Badoo... I mean, again, your rock would be Geodude. Geodude is four times weak to grass. Oh. Like the attacks would... suggesting having Geodude gotcha. as the option gotcha. there. Gotcha. Apologies. Flying would be great, too. We still have that pluck TM that we never used, but that's because I think Piplup's the only one that can learn it. What does that have to do with a flying-type Pokemon? Pluck. You said, I thought you said you wanted flying-type move. Pluck is a flying-type attack, right? So oh, it would deal... It? Yeah. Okay. I, that's why you weren't interested in putting it on Piplup when we first got it. <laughs> And Piplup, because of the beak, right, is the only one that could learn it. And so, you know, we, we already kind of loaded up Piplup with a bunch of crap, so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, 
I guess we just fight. With shallows? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, mud slap, mud sport, mud bomb, water pulse. Mud bomb. On. Badu or Silcoon? Uh, Silcoon. Chansey used Egg Bomb, and it missed. Nice. Badu used Water Sport to lower Fire's power, because, you know, between a Chansey and a Shellow, so you definitely got to worry about Flamethrower. <laughs> um, Mud Bomb missed. Great. Solid. And a Harden Attack. Cool. Completely inconsequential round. Love it. <clears throat> okay, we'll try again. <laughs> Chansey used Egg Bomb, and it missed. Solid work, Chansey. Appreciate you. Badu used Growth and raised its special attack. We used Mud Bomb and actually hit the Silcoon with it. Does that much. Not very effective. Silcoon used Harden again. Okay, so it's a plus two. Keep fighting? Yeah. Using what? Fuck if I know. Oh. Okay. Water pulse. Against the Silcoon again? Yes. You got it. Chance to use Egg Bomb and actually hit this time. Against Badu. Nice, nice amount of damage. Stun Spore on Chansey. So now she's paralyzed. Oh, there you go. And Shellos is out there with a, a, a fellow female in Chansey. Because it's our only girl on the team now that uh, now Shellos has a, a girlfriend <laughs> to hang out with. Wow, that was a nice amount from Water Pulse. Oh, good. Harden again. Okay. So another Water Pulse should at least finish off the Silcoon. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's not going to do great things against the Badoo, but... Correct. But we haven't tried our ground-type attacks against the Badoo yet. So Silcoon fainted. Shellos gained 102. Badoo used Growth, raised its special attack again. Egg Bomb missed. Solid work, Chansey. You're the best. Uh, mud Bomb, Mud Slap, Mud Sport, Water Pulse, or Switch? Mud Bomb. Water Sport, but it failed because it already has one up, and it definitely barely needs the first one. Mud Bomb. Yep, is a, that was a crit. Chansey's paralyzed, fully paralyzed. Okay. Useless ass, Chansey. <laughs> we'll mud bomb it again. Yeah. Shellos used mud bomb. And finished it off. Nicely done. Badu fainted. Shellos gained 97. And grew to level 13. Very nice. 43 HP. 20 attack, 18 defense, 19 special attack and special defense, and 16 speed. You know what I realized? They both have six pick pink penises on their heads. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> All right, we already talked to this guy. Do you want to go up the grass on the right or up the left side? Right. We run into... To Badoo. Ugh. Levels 12 and 11. Great. Chansey for Cheryl. We send out Shellos. Now, something I want to point out to you. Look at our PowerPoints for all our stuff. Yeah. They're all, oh, they're all full. Correct. After every single battle... Because we're with Cheryl, <laughs> it's as if we went to a Pokemon Center. Oh my god, that's awesome. They, all our Pokemon would be revived, they'd be healed to full, and all their power points are back. Very nice. So, going through this desert, this desert, wow, this forest with Cheryl is amazing. Super good. Mud bomb. Uh, does it matter? I'll just do nope. that one. <laughs> okay. Badu used Absorb on Chansey. It did like one damage. The other Badu used Growth to raise its special attack, as we know. And then we use Mud Bomb. 
Mm, okay. We lowered its accuracy. That's nice. Same one or the other one that Chansey hurt more? Uh, I don't care. Same one. You got it. Egg bomb on the other one. Good. Good. Divide and conquer. I like it. That Badoo used growth. <clears throat> Excuse me. Water sport. <clears throat> don't try to use fire against these guys, Amy. I don't have any fire. I know. Okay. Did very little again, but lowered its accuracy again. It's a good sign. Chansey used Egg Bomb. Nice, Chansey. Very nice. Okay, one more of those should do it. That Badoo used Water Sport as well. Ah. Now you can't hit either of them with fire. And by that, I mean it would still probably kill them <laughs> if you <laughs> hit them with fire. Fire's power was weakened, not... Okay, so the, this one used Absorb on Chansey. Good. One more damage. <laughs> Mud Bomb. Okay, we're getting it down. It's in the yellow now. Oh, Chansey, why'd you switch? Okay, fine. Maybe we can kill it with our attack then. Stun Spore paralyzes Chansey. Poor Chansey. <laughs> she, she's getting her ass kicked. <laughs> that The other Badoo used Growth. We use Mud Bomb. And, oh, no! All right, fine. Let's hope that Chansey does the one with the less health. All right, Water Sport failed. Good, thank you. The other Badoo used Growth, but that's irrelevant if it goes down. Special Attack goes up. We hit with a Mud Bomb. And finish off the level 11. Nice. Now, can Chansey finish off the level 12 is the question. Well, I would hope fucking so. <laughs> Unless she misses. That was what I was afraid of, but I wasn't going to say it. Because I didn't want to jinx anything. But let's mud slap now. Because, you know, they're at like 1 HP. Yeah, water sport. Good attack. Good attack. Good choice. So we use mud slap. And it's done. Nice. Alright. 116 more for Shellos. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, huh. we run into wild Wormpole and Silcoon. This is like your favorite forest of all time, huh? Ugh. <laughs> Badoo is cool. Badoo is cool. We do have one. All right. Uh, mud bomb or water pulse? We were actually using water pulse against the bugs before. Yeah. Against the Silcoon or the Wormpole? Uh, Silcoon. Chansey used Egg Bomb and missed. Damn, Chansey. Sometimes you're great. Other times. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Over half on the Silcoon. No crit. Very good. Its defense rises. Wormple used String Shot and slows us both down. Still love that scrunching noise. <laughs> Chansey speed fell, our speed falls, blah, blah, blah. We get it. All right. Uh, water pulse again. Uh, yeah. Okay. On Selkun or Wormpole? Wormpole this time. You got it. Egg bomb on Selkun does not finish it off. Selkun used Harden and raised its, its defense. Water Pulse. Nice. Okay. Does over half. String Shot lowers our speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit through this fun animation. Okay, there we go. Uh, Wormple? Yes. Okay, defense goes up. Egg Bomb finishes off the Silcoon. Beautiful. 
and Water Pulse. Oh, sorry, 102 for Shellos. Nice. Wormple tackles us. Actually does some damage. Okay. And Water Pulse... Finishes it off. Nice. Wormple goes down. Shellos gains 84. It's not a lot, but that's fine. Well, uh, it definitely transitioned from day to night uh, in the game, and not because we took a break at all. That would be ridiculous. Anyway, Cheryl. My Pokemon is an excellent healer, but attacking isn't its strong point. Yeah, but they chances do tank a hell of a lot of damage. So um, do you want to go up to the person in the top right, or do you want to go uh, up to the left? Next. Uh, let's go up to the left next. Okay. So up or like to into the, this grass? This grass. Yeah. It's two wild Pokemon, a Wormpole, and a Buneary. Buneary? Mm hmm. Okay. I don't think you've seen this one before. No. We have Mud Slap, Mud Sport, Water Pulse, or Mud Bomb. Uh. Mud Bomb was good, right? Mud Bomb is stronger than Mud Slap, yes. Okay. And Mud Sport doesn't do jack shit. Correct. So. <laughs> it lowers the power of electric type moves, so if for some reason you are afraid that Baneri is an electric type, then maybe you could use it, but otherwise, yeah, it's not that great. No. Uh, okay, let's Mud Bomb something. Okay, which? Uh, Wormple or Baneri? Wormpole, because I hate it more. Okay. Baneri used Foresight. And identified Chansey. Chansey used Egg Bomb, and it missed. Shellos used Mud Bomb. Okay, it did a little bit of damage. It's not very effective, as we will remember. String Shot lowers all of our speed. So what do you think of Baneri so far? Kind of dumb. Kind of dumb, okay. It's, Mud Bomb? It's not one of these two dickhead Pokemon <laughs> that we got on our side of the field. That's correct, it's not. Uh, Mud Bomb, Slap, Sport, or Water Pulse? Uh, let's try Water Pulse. On? Uh, let's try Baneri. Baneri used Foresight again oh, and identified no. Chansey. How terrifying. <laughs> Egg Bomb on Baneri does that much. Wormple used Tackle on Chansey and did very little. And then we use Water Pulse. Nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah, let's just use Water Pulse. <laughs> okay, on which one? Baneri again? Uh, Wormpole. Baneri, Baneri is basically dead. Baneri used Defense Curl, and so its defense went up. Chance to use Soft Boiled. The heck? And regained health. Oh, okay. Wormpole used Tackle. Dealt very little damage to us. And so we Water Pulse it in retaliation. And almost finish it off. Nice. Okay, what next? Uh, let's... We can probably Mud Bomb this time. Which one? Uh, Wormpole. Baneer used Foresight again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Egg Bomb on the Baneer finishes it off. Nice. It's a good thing we picked Wormpole then. That's right. We gained 120 experience. Poison Sting on us. <gasps> does very little damage and does not poison us, thank Good. God. And then we Mud Bomb it and finish it off. Not very effective, but irrelevant. Wormple fainted. And Shellos gained another 77. And grew to level 14. Nice. Very nice. 
which means 46 HP, 22 attack, 19 defense, 21 special attack and special defense, and 17 speed. Okay, uh, and so now Shellos is the same level as Shinx, Cricketoon, and Piplup. Hmm. Want to keep Shellos up top? Uh, I am still not convinced I'm keeping Shellos. Okay. Like, it has, at the moment, three ground type attacks, but they're all shit, and it's still not a ground type Pokemon. Okay. So, it's not going to be very effective to be using those instead of water type attacks, which is its actual typing. Okay. And I already have a water type Pokemon. Okay. So, plus, you know, it's got dicks all over its head. <laughs> um, and that's not a selling point for you? No. Okay. I mean, because I'm not keeping my chop. And that has vagina on its head, so, <laughs> you know. So, head genitals is not something you're looking for in, a, in Pokemon, <laughs> right. is what we're, you're saying. We're getting rid of all the head genitals. <laughs> um, okay. But then Badoo's out as well. Um, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I may have alluded to you that it is possible <laughs> that Shellos becomes a Pokemon with a ground type, but it's unclear because you don't know that. There's no way to know yeah. that. So yeah, uh, we'll we'll keep Shellos at the top for now. Okay. Uh, yeah, in the hopes that we'll see that second typing soon, hopefully. Okay. Um, All right. Um, you know what we should do though? Don't we have the um, sandamajig or whatever? Soft sand. Yeah. I don't know that we have it in this game yet. I thought we had. I guess that was our last game. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, that was what we had on Aeron. Oh, yeah, game. we only have, like, one item. Like, one hold item uh, in this whole fucking game right now, Pokemon. don't we? Pokemon. Oh, we have two. Yes. One on Shinx and one on Piplup. Shinx has the Quick Claw, which means sometimes it will attack first. And uh, Piplup has the Metronome, which means that if it uses an attack in succession, that attack increases in power because of it. Oh, yeah. These fucking items suck, too. Yep. All right, well. Okay, where are we going? Are hold items things we can buy in stores? Uh, I do not believe that has ever been a thing, no. Okay. Well, anyway. I mean, again, obviously, technically, berries can be hold items. But, you know. Yeah. For whatever you feel about that. But, um, so where are we going? Uh, let's go up and around. To the left here. And to the right. To the right is, is into two cut trees and we don't have cut. Oh, there are so. two there. I thought it was just one tall one and we would walk behind it. No. Okay, gotcha. So we All can right. either go to the left or back down. So let's go back down then and go to the, the people. Okay. Well, first... It's a Badoo and a Murkrow. Gross. But you love birds. No. <laughs> love you birds. love to do, though. <laughs> All right. So mud slap, mud sport, mud bomb, water pulse. So let's um, mud slap the murkrow. You want to use a ground attack on a flying type oh, Pokemon? Oh shit! Uh, let's water pulse the murkrow. Got it. <laughs> Uh, Murkrow used Astonish. I just didn't want to use the Water Pulse on the Badoo, because I feel like that wouldn't do a whole hell of a lot. Correct. Uh, Egg Bomb again missed. Water Pulse, on the other hand, does just nice. above half, and we confused it. Badoo used Water Sport to lower fire attack power. Okay. Whoa. You want a water pulse again? Uh, no. I wanted to mud bomb on the Badoo. You got it. Murkrow's confused. And used Astonish. And it doesn't affect Chansey. Because ghost type attacks don't work on normal types. Just like normal type attacks don't work on ghost types. 
Oh, this thing's a ghost? No, but it used a ghost type attack and uh. astonish. Mud Bomb does, with a crit, about three quarters. Nice. But it absorbs from Chansey. Oh, wow. <laughs> like one. Okay, what next? Uh, let's Mud Bomb again the Badoo. Okay, we'll finish off the Badoo first and leave the bird alive. I'm very surprised. Yeah, I know. Murkrow is confused but uses Astonish on us. Chance to use Egg Bomb on the Badoo. And we finish it with a Mud Bomb. That's annoying. Just got hit with bomb after bomb, that poor Badoo. Uh, Badoo faints. Shellos gained 106. Now what? It's only really one option for you. Yeah. Okay, Murkrow's confused. Has not once hurt itself in confusion, and will use Peck on us. Chansey used Soft Boil to heal the one point of damage it took. <sighs> great job, Chansey. You're doing great. Thanks for the help. Uh, Water Pulse. We'll finish it off. Yeah, we didn't need the help anyway. Yeah, apparently. Shellos gained 168. Very nice. I mean, All if right. Chansey had healed us, that would have been cool. Right? But it's fine, because Chansey heals us at the end of every battle. Oh. If you don't remember that. I didn't remember that. Thank so, you. Yeah. All right, so you ready to go up to the people? Yes. So, by the way, do you see what this is going to be? That, that, that silence is a no, I assume. Yeah. It's, a, it's fine. I was just going to tell you. It's a forced double battle. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. So has been all the rest of this. Right, but but all the rest of it has been wild Pokemon, not trainers. Yeah. Okay. What's cool, you might ask? No, I'll tell you anyway. Bug Pokemon. Agreed. <laughs> We're just out on a power walk. <laughs> So this guy's like, Pokemon fight! And this girl's like, we're just going for a walk! <laughs> You're challenged by Bugcatcher Jack and Las Brianna. Bugcatcher Jack has a Wurmple. Las Brianna has a Pachirisu. And I still haven't figured out what fucking type this thing is. <laughs> okay, and it's Shellos and Chansey. What a surprise. <laughs> okay. Mud Slap, Mud Sport, Mud Bomb, Water Pulse. Let's try a Mud Bomb on the Pachirisu. I'm going to just try to keep fighting that one so I can maybe try to figure out what, what it is. I, I feel like you did learn what type it was, but I... I okay, really? I don't remember. Anyway. I don't think so. Okay. Egg Bomb missed, Mud Bomb hits. It's super effective. <gasps> really? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Let me reference my chart. Okay. My chart. All right, so our speed is down. Is it a water type? No, no, you're looking oh, at it. Oh, it's a grass. Oh, backwards. You're at Damn it. Damn it. Is it... Uh, is it a poison type? Is it a rock type? Keep going. You still haven't mentioned it. Is it an electric type? Mm-hmm. It is? Mm-hmm. It doesn't Again, look anything like an I, electric type. First of all, the yellow cheeks that it has... Uh, is that what that is? Yes. ...are similar to Pikachu's red cheeks. Okay. Because that's where the electric sacs are in Pokemon. That's Ew. where the electricity comes out. Okay. And Pachirisu, similar to Pichu in the second generation, and Plusle and Minin in the third generation, is the Pikachu clone for this generation. It's the like an actual clone? No. But it's oh. the it's the electric type that is cutesy like Pikachu. Because Pichu is just the de evolution of Pikachu. Plusle and Minin just look like Pikachu, but are thinner and different colors. Like you don't think they look like Pikachu? No. That 
didn't ever occur to me that they looked like Pikachu. Oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> I. And I certainly don't think the stupid squirrel thing does. Okay. I will agree to disagree, and okay. I, I'm just telling you what. Moving on. Okay. So, Mud Slap, Mud Sport, Mud Bomb, Water Pulse. Mud Bomb. Still on Pachirisu? Yep. Pachirisu used Bide. Chance he used Egg Bomb on the Pachirisu. We use Mud Bomb. It just looks like a big old fart. Kind of. And it's super effective. Wurmple used Poison Sting on Chansey. Good, don't care. Critical Hit did like two or three damage. And Chansey was poisoned. Yeah, whatever. Chansey's hurt it's not by helping the anyway, it never does. Yeah. Alright. Um, Alright, let's hit the Wurmple with something. Uh, Pachirisu is biting, and we just hit it twice. So either you're going to try to kill it, or it's going to hit one of us for a lot of damage. Oh, shit. So let's mud slap it. Okay. P Pachirisu is storing energy. Chansey used soft boiled, see? So if we hadn't attacked the Pachirisu, nobody would have been able to kill it. Um, Chansey's back to full health, but still poisoned. Shellos used mud slap. And that's going to be Pachirisu. Thank you. Super effective. It was level 14. Uh, Shellos gained oh. 360 experience. Wow. There you go. And grew to level 15. So we have 49 HP, 23 attack, 20 defense, 22 special attack and special defense, and 18 speed. And then Wurmple used String Shot to lower our speed more. Who cares? Oh, no. String Shot, what a terrible attack. We will be in so much pain. <clears throat> Chansey's hurt by the poison. Speaking of pain. Uh, mud Slap, Mud Sport, Mud Bomb, Water Pulse. Water Pulse. Okay. Chansey used Soft Boiled again on itself. Oh my god. You know, that, Stop sucking, That Chansey. 2 HP is really scary that it was down that low. Uh, Shellus used Water Pulse. Wow. wow. It was <laughs> it was level 9. Yeah, but still. So, Wurmple faints. We gain 103. Chansey's hurt by the poison again. And you know what that means. Bugcatcher Jack sent out. Beautifly. <gasps> it's cute. <laughs> uh, so, there's only one option because it's flying, so I won't even ask. <clears throat> Beautifly used Absorb on Chansey. But maybe Chansey will use Soft Boiled again. Yeah, I hope so. Yep. <laughs> God, I was worried it would be useful anyway. <laughs> Water Pulse. Level 13. Wait a minute, so that girl had one Pokemon and this guy has three? Because they had four Pokemon total. I assumed they each had two, but yeah. she didn't send out a replacement, so it's just him. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, it's confused. It hurt itself in its confusion. Thank God. And then we use, oh, Chansey used an egg bomb. Wow. What a damn concept. And so that means that our water pulse gets to finish it off. We did it. Beautifly fainted. Shellus gained 448 experience. Chansey's hurt by the poison. That's actually kind of a lot of damage. And Silcoon. <laughs> Level 11. So, Mud Slap, Mud Sport, Mud Bomb, Water Pulse. Water Pulse. You got it. Chansey used Soft Boiled. Well, at least this time the damage was actually somewhat <laughs> significant. Somewhat. Water Pulse. Because this cocoon was really going to threaten its life if it didn't heal up. <laughs> yep, we dealt all but two damage to it, and so it used Harden. <laughs> its defense rose. Chansey's hurt by the poison again. Okay, now what? Mud Slap. 
Jancy used refresh, <gasps> which she could have used the After whole time. Reaching. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> For context for folks at home, here in the United States, there's a commercial for a, a, a product of the name that was just on the screen for that ability. And I hate that commercial because it is real gross. Um, for folks that need it, that's great and I understand, but I don't appreciate it. And Amy loves talking about it because I, I despise it. <laughs> anyway, we grew to level 16, 51 HP. 24 attack, 21 defense, 23 special attack and special defense, and 19 speed. And we want to learn the move Hidden Power. But we can't learn more than four moves. Make it forget another move. For Hidden Power? Mm-hmm. So Hidden Power is a normal type special attack with uh, varying power and 100 accuracy. And it's, you know how Hidden Power works. It's a random type. Yeah, it's still better than fucking mud sport. Though. Correct. So fine, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> One, two, and poof. Shellos forgot how to use mud sport and learned hidden power. Yay, I guess. And we beat Bug Catcher Jack and last Yay. Brianna. It bugs me when people ignore the awesome coolness of bug Pokemon. Agree. Oh, you. It's $432 for winning. <laughs> I don't really love bug Pokemon, um, but I do love bugs. So she says, Ew, nasty. There are only bug Pokemon in the forest. I also forgot to buy some antidotes. It's just the worst thing ever. Wow. And then he says, It would seem that coolness alone doesn't add up to any wins. That's definitely true. It does not. We got a paralyzed heal. We weren't going to give that brat a fucking antidote. Nope. All right. Uh, okay. Shellos is now level 16, tied with Badoo and Machop for your strongest. All right. Let's use the Shinx. You got it. What type is the Shinx? Is that an uh, electric type? Correct. All right. And you've got no electric type damage dealing attacks. Because you've got charge, which boosts the power of the next electric type move you use. Uh, but you don't have any. You have Bite, Leer, and Tackle. Alright, well we definitely have to level this thing up, so we're using it. You got it. Look what we've got. Okay. Whoa. I see it. I see it. I see you going down in defeat. Doubt it. <clears throat> When a trainer and a Pokemon bond as one, a wondrous power is born. Blah, blah, blah. Let's fight. <laughs> Look at them. It's Psychic Lindsay and Psychic Elijah. Okay. Psychic Lindsay has Abra. Psychic Elijah has Abra. Oh, shit. <laughs> Of course, we switched to the crappy Pokemon right before the fucking Abra's. Yeah, you're right, because Shellos definitely had attacks that were super effective against Abra, and Shinx definitely doesn't. That's sarcasm. Well, I don't know that, okay? <laughs> so, I've never been good at fighting Abra's. So Shinx has Tackle or Leer, which are normal type attacks, which you know are not super effective against anything. Mm-hmm. Well, we have charge that doesn't deal any damage, so that's not it. Okay, so there's a dark type attack. Bite. Correct. Oh, and shanks. Do you care uh, uh, the left or the right Abra? I do not. Okay. Left it is. Abra used hidden power. And hit us. Don't. Why do they have to be level 15? The other Abra used Hidden Power and hit Chansey. Good. Okay. Oh, that one's super effective against Chansey. Chansey used Egg Bomb on the one that we didn't attack, I believe. Whoa! Oh. And we use Bite. Yep. Oh, sick. Super effective. Finished it off. Shinx gained 240 experience. Very nice. And then you want to just finish it off? Yeah. All right. Abra used Hidden Power 
Who so this cares? is super effective against Chansey. What'd you say? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> It did a, kill this fucking it thing. did a fair <laughs> amount of damage to us. Chansey, of course, using Soft Boiled on itself because, you know, being down four points, really, really tough for it. We use Bite and finish off the Abra. Obviously super effective. Abra faints. Shinx gained 240 again and grew to level 15. Yeah. 42 HP, 27 attack, 19 defense, 17 special attack and speed and 18 special defense and we defeat psychic lindsay and psychic elijah oh they don't have more pokemon it is i that has gone down in defeat hmm no they each had one and we got 960 dollars from them hey. what oh shinx is evolving it's so cute still be cute please let's find out Congra Still cute. Congratulations, your Shinx evolved into Luxio. Oh. So, let's check out your new Pokemon. Luxio is an electric type Pokemon still, with the Quick Claw. Now it's got 34 attack. <clears throat> Excuse me, 23 defense and special attack, 22 special defense and 21 speed. And it still has the Intimidate ability. And then as you know, it's got Tackle, Leer, Charge, and Bite. I'm glad you still think it's cute. Cockamouse. Cockamouse. There still remain many mysteries yet to be solved in this strange world. The old chateau lies abandoned with none living in its walls. And yet, and yet, there permeates a presence. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, look at all this grass. Oh, there's a Pokeball over here. It's a Great Ball. Yay. And there's some trainers. You want to go up through the grass or go to the trainers? Uh, can we give a potion to our Shanks? We're always healed at the end of every battle. Oh, the... yeah. I keep forgetting it. <clears throat> keep forgetting it. It's okay. What do you want to do? Uh, let's go in the grass. We find a Baneri and a Wurple. Gross. Okay. Okay. Chansey and Luxio, of course. So that's what Luxio looks like from behind. We use our Intimidate still. Cut their attacks. Now what? Tackle, leer, charge, bite. Uh, bite. On? Uh, worm pole. Baneri we can used... eat worms. We can eat worms. Baneri used foresight again. What a surprise. And identified Chansey. Chansey used egg bomb on the worm pole. And dealt like over a third. We use bite. And finish it off. Nice. Luxio gains 77. Now what? Bite again, but on the bunny. You got it. So you can eat rabbit as well. Correct. Defense curl means its defense goes up. Egg bomb actually hits. Ooh, does not do a lot of damage though. And bite does about that much. Again? Yeah. Baneri used Endure. The wild Baneri braced itself. So Chansey used Egg Bomb. And we used Bite. What? And the wild Baneri endured the hit. Uh, I call shenanigans on that one. Let's tackle it. You got it. We used the Quick Claw. Oh. And so we use Tackle. <clears throat> Very good. Baneri fainted. Luxio gained 132. And we're out of there. All right. Next. A Beautifly and a Badoo. Okay. 
Okay. So we've got Luxio and Chansey. All right. We intimidate them first, as we know. What would you like to do next? Uh, I guess we'll bite the plant. <laughs> you got it. But Be uh, Beautifly used Absorb on us? I can't quite tell. Yes, on us. Did very little damage. Egg Bomb on the Beautifly. Does a little bit more damage than the Beautifly did to us. Biting the Badoo does over half. Nice. And made it flinch. Cool. Let's do it again. Beautifly used Absorb on us again. Okay. Chansey used Egg Bomb on Badoo this time, because that's definitely where it was needed, Chansey. Solid work. Thanks for that. Badoo faints. Luxio gained 116. This Chansey sucks, <laughs> And grew to level 16. And it has dicks. So, full circle. 49 HP, 36 attack, 24 defense, 25 special attack, 23 special defense, 22 speed. Uh, bite, tackle, leer, or charge on this beautifly. Yeah, I think we bite. It's just a better attack. You got it. Beautifly used absorb on Chansey this time. Good. <clears throat> Are you sure? <laughs> it, it, it technically happened, yes. Egg bomb. Followed by bite. Okay, we're close. Now what? Okay. One more bite. You got it. Absorb on Chansey. <laughs> that bar didn't even look like it moved. It just looked like it turned from red to yellow. <laughs> Correct. By the way, Chansey has left both of these Pokemon at one health each for us to finish off. <laughs> that was very annoying of you, Chansey. Yep. All right. 276 for Luxio. Okay, I mean, hey, this is pretty cool. You've been uh, leveling up your, your guys here, or guys and gals, whatever you want to say. Uh, guys and gal, I guess would be the... <laughs> um, but yeah, I think because we uh, took that break, we are at the end of this particular episode. So yeah. um, what do you think of... I know you were kind of talking down a bit on uh, Shellos. Do you still I feel that well, way? I just feel like none of Shellos's attacks are actually good. Okay. Um, and then, like, the water one is the best one, and I don't want the water one. Right, because you have Piplup. Yeah. Okay. So, like... What about... I, um... I could ultimately replace the water-type attack with a ground-type attack, mm -hmm. but, like, all of its ground-type attacks right now are shit. Right. So, like... Okay. I don't know. What about um, what about Luxio? Are you happy with your new friend? Yeah, I mean, I'm happy that it evolved. I just wish that like something came of it. Like, sure. I really want again better attacks on this thing. Yeah. Um, because I feel like Badu has good attacks. Um. Yeah, I mean, uh, Absorb and Mega Drain, Stun Spore, and Growth. Yeah. I feel like those are all good. Okay. Um, I feel like Piplup has good attacks. Pound, Stealth Rock, Bubble, and Hidden Power. Okay, maybe not the best, but they're fine. And in fact, is it Hidden Power Bug? I think it's Hidden Power Bug, if, we, yeah, if I recall correctly. Yeah, that's true. So. Ugh, all right, well, yeah, they're not the best, but at least they do things. Mm -hmm. Um... <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Well, regardless, we will be back next week to continue our way through the forest here um, and to maybe see if we can get better attacks, as Amy has mentioned. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let us know your thoughts, as always, in the comments down below. We would love to hear from you. Uh, and um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we will be back. Hey, please don't forget, as well, 
First of all, subscribing and ringing that bell is super important. It'll give you notifications whenever any of our videos come out, including the continuation of this series next week. We also have other channels and other series. You can check those out down in the description box below for any of the links that you might need, including to our socials as well. And for now, from us here at the Geek for All family of channels, I have been Joe. And I'm Amy. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.